Hi everyone, this is Jamie Santiano, owner and creator of JSWalletChains.com. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about Chainmail. What is it? What is Chainmail and what can you do with it? Well, Chainmail is basically a metal mesh material and it was used back in the 14th century as armor. This armor was worn over a padded aikton and underneath the uh, metal plate armor that they used to wear um, when they'd go out into battle. This would protect them from spears and arrows and broadswords, things like that. Um, so anyway, um, it has evolved. Uh, today it is used as pieces of jewelry. Um, you can do different things such as make drawstring pouches, which I've done. I've created this one. It's quite large, but um, I spent some time on that. I think it took me a good 20 hours to create this one. But this is just an example of what can be done with chain mail. It's not just for armor. Um, you can see them um, wearing it at the Re Renaissance Fair when they reenact um, and they go to joust. A lot of times they have the knights wearing the um, chain mail. And also, it can be made into pieces of jewelry. So this is a little bit different than um, the material, not the material, but the weave that I used for the pouch, but still a form of chain mail. Let's see. That one's very cool. This one is like a, um, a knot type of weave. So it's just the way the links are linked together, they create kind of like a knot then, that then can be used in um, conjunction with some of the other jump rings to link them all together. Um, also, as you can see, I'm wearing a sheet of chain mail around my wrist as a bracelet. Um, I also have created this ring that is also made of chain mail, except this one this one does not move. This one has been soldered together. I created this one because I, I wanted something a little bit more rigid, something that wouldn't move, um, unlike, you know, the, the regular sheets of, of chain mail that do move. Um, I just wanted to try and, and test my, my limits and see what I could do. Um, anyway, um, chain mail it has been created in many different types of weaves and things like I mentioned before. Um, here's another weave. This one is called the Yentz Pinned. Um, when some of these weaves have come out, I do not know. I, I don't know all the dates. I just know that there are many, many people out there doing chain mail and have created various weaves and, you know, um, they're, I believe they're just addicted to it probably just as much as I am, only I'm not sitting there trying to create new weaves. I am basically using the weaves and creating items such as wallet chains, as you see here. And this one is the double spiral. So there are many things, like I said before, you can do with chain mail. Um, the way they used to create chain mail, that's kind of interesting. Um, basically, they would have to take and um, create like an ingot. They would they would melt down the metal and they would create this ingot, and then they would have to hammer it down into a bar such as this, and then they would have to then take the bar and they would have to draw it down. And I don't have the tool, unfortunately, to show you how they would actually draw the draw the wire down, but then they would end up with wire such as this. They would then take the wire and wrap it around a mandrel, which is basically um, a metal form, or it could be a wooden form that's round, uh, very similar to a dowel, um, you know, something like that. And they would they would basically wrap the wire around the um, the mandrel, and then they would end up with a coil. And then they could take and cut the coil with a saw down one of the sides, all the way down. And that's how you get all your jump rings. 
So anyhow, um, once they did that, then they could take and assemble their chain mail. And like this one is a European foreign one. So they would take and link. And I'm not showing you from beginning because this is not a tutorial, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the process is. So they would take and link some jump rings together. And they would have to then close it. Just like that. Once they closed it, you'd have an extension of the chain mail, as you can see there. So, anyhow, um, back then, they used to rivet, they, I believe they would weld some of the jump rings. So, like I just showed you, where I took one jump ring that was open, that would have been the one they would have riveted. And the two that I had added on would have been the ones that were already soldered so that they were completely shut. They didn't rivet every single jump ring. So um, that would be kind of the process of how they would go through and make that armor. Today, we don't do that. It's, it's unless you really want to get authentic, you could. But in this case, because I'm working with anodized aluminum, I. I don't need to do that. I don't really want to get as authentic as that. I'm looking at it more of from the standpoint of how it functions and the look of it. That's all I'm really after. Um, and the materials that I use, I use quite um, thick gauges. I, I work anywhere from 14 on up to 10 gauge. So my gauges that I use are quite thick and um, and the weaves that I use also are quite dense. So they're not going to come apart that easily. And so I can get away with basically a butted joint, with, which is what I've done, what, what I had just shown you. Um, a butted joint is basically taking that jump ring and bringing it, the two ends together, and it basically creates a, a butt joint. So there's no soldering involved with my wallet chains. Um, if it was something that was made out of sterling silver, silver, I would definitely, definitely solder. But again, being that I'm working with anodized aluminum, it's not something I have to do. So um, anyhow, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about chain mail. Uh, I did write a blog on my website, and I went a little bit more in detail. You can take a look at that, and um, and like I said, you can you can get a little bit more information from that. Um, if you want, you can also do more research as uh, chain mail. Um, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of, of information on that and um, hope that that kind of clears up the mystery with what chain mail really is. I get this question a lot and um, it's, it's, it's amazing. I love working with it and um, you know, when people see it, they're like, wow, that's really cool. And so, Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. So um, thanks again for listening. And if you like my video, please comment. Please uh, like and share. I appreciate that. Um, if you have any questions, please contact me and, and let me know. And um, I hope you all have a great rest of the evening. And take care.